Entertainment Schmig. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motors. So, yeah, it looks like the big announcement on the Today Show is that Charlie Sheen is going to announce he's HIV positive. A lot of this will be cleared up once he sits down for this interview, although um, people are saying he may be, he may not be revealing everything he's known. Wouldn't it be bigger news if he was uh, not HIV positive? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Good <laughs> right. point. Huh? Yeah. So, interesting. Um, there were a couple stories yesterday saying uh, he's known for two years. Then someone uh, who's apparently close to Denise Richards says she's known for about four years. Now comes a crisis manager who previously worked with people close to Charlie Sheen who says he's been living with the disease for 10 years. Two, four, ten. The reason all these numbers are important is because who knew what when? And oh, lawsuits. Has, oh, yeah, he has yeah. had a lot of mm. partners, and this could mean lots of lawsuits. He apparently makes people sign... Um, Confidentiality? Yeah, agreements. agreements before they even step into his home. But they believe that the reason he's coming out now and talking about this is because one of those agreements went south and someone started talking to people. So he's apparently been taking meds for HIV, and he's been taking regular blood tests, and he claims that the virus is undetectable in his system. And he's apparently going to talk about that on the Today Show. Um, He recently split with a publicist he's had for 35 years. That person said, we had a disagreement about how to handle a situation, and we parted ways. Mm. Um, His ex-wife, Brooke Mueller, has yet to comment. They split in 2011. Uh, Brie Olson, remember when she was running around with Charlie Sheen? Yep. The adult star. She recently came forward and said she's not HIV positive, but she had, and she addressed the rumors about, quote, one of my ex-boyfriends from years ago. So it'll be very interesting when he sits down with Matt Lauer, all the stuff he talks about. This one crisis management person who spoke with the New York Post says don't expect him to talk about his drug use. He's not really going to discuss that at all. But it'll be very interesting to see exactly what he does reveal. You know, and, and Emilio's over here. I, I'm, hey. <laughs> hey. I'm yeah. the good one. I'm yeah. Emilio. <laughs> not working. I didn't do much. <laughs> Come on, Mighty Ducks 9. I Let's did. go. He's a fine director, too. <laughs> Mighty Ducks 9. <laughs> Hollywood's most valuable stars, according to Vulture.com, topping the list for a second straight year, Jennifer Lawrence. They take into account box office in the U.S. and across around the world, social media buzz, likability, and critical respect. After Jennifer Lawrence, you have Robert Downey Jr., Leonardo DiCaprio, Bradley Cooper, and The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. The highest-ranking star who wasn't even in last year's top 100 Amy Schumer. Oh, for sure. Number 39 this year. Last night on Dancing with the Stars, spoiler alert, because Tamar Braxton left last week because of health issues, no one was eliminated. It's happened a lot this year. <laughs> I'm so Surprise! glad that I didn't watch. <laughs> Surprise, you wasted all this time. Ever. Vindy Irwin and Nick Carter, though, in the bottom two. Mm. I know. That's Ooh. a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber and One Direction both released albums last Friday, and it's, you know, a battle of who's going to win. It looks like so far Justin is pacing to debut at number one and will sell over half a million copies of his album. Good thing he released it now because Adele's going to crush it Mm -hmm. next week when her album 25 comes out. Very interesting. 60 Minutes Australia, I think knowingly, gave us a little preview of what else is on the album. They're doing an interview with her, and in this two-minute, like interview tease piece that they put online at the very end they show her performing a new song called when we were young here's like a 30 second preview of it (laughs) (laughs) walk right into that like the broadway flavor (laughs) (laughs) all right come on (laughs) all right Just like 
You're still young. I, so yeah. <laughs> She's 27, Courtney. You know, just once I'd like to uh, just hear a little something poppy. No, I like you know? that, the feel of that. I mm-hmm. know you do, but I'm just no, saying. No, it didn't sound as slow. Yeah. It had a yeah. little bit of a, a little pace. Yeah. Uh, another song that people in England are trying to get to number one this week, of course, before Adele's album comes out, is uh, an Eagles of Death Metal co- uh, cover song. They covered Duran Duran's Save a Prayer, as you know, Eagles of Death Metal um, d- performing. We're in the concert hall when, in Paris when the, the attacks occurred. Yeah, so people are saying to download the band's cover of Duran Duran's song. And uh, Simon Le Bon from Duran Duran, since they get money, since they wrote the song, they said they'll donate all the proceeds they get from the sales to Don't help out. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. I know. That's Entertainment Schmig. More at 840 and online at y98.com.